Well, praise God. We're in the red. We want to welcome all of you. Amen. Amen. All those those of you that are joining us by audio or video, we just want to say welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. And the church here greets you. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Praise God. Hello. Welcome. Anyway, uh, New Beginnings Church, where our church you can call home, where we honor God, love families, and serve others. And also, we pursue excellence. Amen? So, praise God. If you don't have a church, join us. Amen? You can join us and hook up with us every time. Because we are a church alive and it's worth the drive. We are a church alive and it's worth hearing the word yes, of God. Amen. Because it's not being taught anymore. Amen? Some do, some don't. But the word of God is powerful. It says, the word of God will set you free. The truth sets you free. Amen? So, we're going to continue to be alive. We're going to continue to preach the word. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. So, praise God. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. That way, if you haven't joined us, join us. Amen? As a matter of fact, I want to read to you our, our, um, our scripture for today. Amen. What do I do with it? That's okay. I need to find it. I don't know where I put it. Uh oh. Somebody took it from me. <laughs> anyway, go to the next one. <coughs> Everybody join. Here we go. Okay, I'll read okay. it to you. <laughs> I'll read it to you. Grab your Bibles, grab your swords. Here we go. <laughs> There we go. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. Amen. You tell yourself. And you talk to yourself. And get yourself quiet. Amen. Because we're going to be talking about getting our thinking. Getting our words right. We started the oh, year saying these things uh -huh. and it's the word of God that's going to keep you going. Amen? Yeah. Because the Bible tells us in Proverbs 18.21 that death and life are in the power of the, of the tongue. In other words, there's power in words. Jesus used them. God used them to create. So there's power in words. And you know when we were in the playgrounds and we used to just say, well, you know, sticks and stones can break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we've been thinking this way. You know, we just say words and we just shoot them out and don't even think about it. There's consequences. Because your words are seed and they're carriers of life or death. And you're sowing them. And you're planting them. And whatever you plant in your garden is what you're going to reap. Is what you're going to grow. So we have to be more selective. We've got to be more careful. And as we grow in the word of God, we are careful as to what we sow in our gardens. Amen? Amen. So our garden is our life. So we want to sow the right things. Amen? Amen. And uh, just a quick thing here is uh, prepare yourselves to receive. We're always thinking about somebody else. But you prepare yourself to receive. Because God has something for you. Yes, he does. We're always thinking about, well, if my neighbor, if my friend, if my so-and-so would have been there, they really needed to hear this. Oh, God. And it just goes over our head. And it goes in and out. Uh -huh. And when you go out into the world, the spiritual battles is that we fight in our minds. And when you go out into the world and, and meet these giants, mm. there's no word in you to come out. Mm -hmm. and we're going to be talking about the word. Making a deposit. No oh boy. Okay? Making a deposit of the word. If you deposit, you can take out. If you don't deposit, there's nothing to take out. No deposit, no return. There's nothing there. So we need to get it in us so we can come out of us. Amen? Amen. When you put these things in you, when you put the word in you, faith goes in. Mm -hmm. Fears go out. Yes. Amen? Enemy wants to keep you in fear. The world wants to keep you in fear. Because you're not good enough. You're not qualified. And you'll be hearing these things all your life. Mm -hmm. Until you get the truth that's going to set you free Amen. from being trapped in the world. <laughs> Amen. We're going to be talking about Israelites coming out of uh, Egypt. Always wanting to go back to what? To bondage? Mm. To slavery? Mm -hmm. We think about things. You know, we've got to 
the Lord takes us out of the world and we want to go right back into it. Mm. We take our trash out to the dumpster. Oh my gosh. We shouldn't have to go back and take it back. That's right. That's right. Leave it there. Oh, amen. amen. Cool. Hallelujah. Right. Come on, I'm preaching better than preach. Uh, oh. <laughs> amen. Yeah. We're getting there. Okay, changing your thinking. Mm. Change your ways. Change directions. When we line up with Him, it's so important that you think along with the Word of God. He wants to direct us. He wants to guide us, manage, control, regulate. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, first scripture I want to go to, and I want you to see it. And open your Bibles. When you say, well, God never talks to me. <laughs> we never open your Bible. Because <laughs> he talks to you all the time. Yes, he and he wants to. Open your Bibles to Proverbs. Awesome book in the Bible. Amen? Yes, it is. But look at Proverbs 18. No, uh, we're going first to uh, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. And then we'll go to mm -hmm. But Proverbs 3 is awesome, awesome scripture. And all of Proverbs is good. As a matter of fact, you can read one, one yes. every day. Amen? Every day. On a daily basis. Here we go. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 says what? Trust, Trust in the Lord with all. all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall do what? Direct He's going to direct path. your path. Mm -hmm. Amen? So who's called you? He's called you. Yeah, man. And if you don't know, I want you to know right now, he called you. He qualified yes. you. He approved you. Amen. So some of us are still waiting for approval from a friend, or we're waiting approval from the world, or we're waiting approval from somebody else. He's already proved you. Amen. He put you here, and I said, I've got great things for you. I've got great plans for you, mm -hmm. and you can point at yourself. We're talking about you, Amen. me. I'm taking this personal. Who's we'll saying he's got great plans for you, Brenda? He's got great plans for you. Yes. And you know what? None of them include defeat. That's right. The Amen. world's going to try to distract you. Mm -hmm. The enemy's going to try to distract you and throw you off course. Mm -hmm. But we got to open it. And get right back into it. Yes. Amen. This is our truth. This is our time. This is our direction right here. Yes. And we got to get right back into it and say, I can do all oh, things oh. through Christ who strengthens you. <laughs> get the word in you Amen. so that you can start walking mm. in faith. You're going to put some faith on those feet when you walk mm. instead of fear and hold back. Amen. Ooh, come on. Amen. Now. That's good. It's good already. That's good. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Woo. Think faith. Thank you, Lord. And not fear. That's right. Faith believes the word. And God wants to lead you to victory. Amen. Amen. He's already had. Let's get, you see this on Facebook all the time. Mm. <laughs> you know, have faith. Mm. He's already been there. Yeah. He's already been there. So what? If he's been there, I shouldn't fear. Mm -hmm. Because I know I'm with him. Amen. And even though you fight a spiritual battle, you still got to get in the Word. Yes. And yes, speak the Word. Amen. If there's no deposit, there's no return. Mm -hmm. But you, only you can blame yourself. Yeah. So you need to bank the deposit in there. Not once in a while, not Christmas. No, boy. Uh, Easter. Mm. Or once in a while. No, mm -hmm. all the time. All Amen. the time. A born again believer knows that God has already moved on my behalf. He's yeah. already been there. Yeah. I can do all things all through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. That's right. The truth sets me free. Mm -hmm. The truth sets me free. He says, I am the way, the, the truth, yeah. and the life. the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. So I need to know about Jesus mm. because I want to tell somebody about the way, mm -hmm. about the only way to the Father. It's not through anything else, not through this world, mm -hmm. not through a person, mm -hmm. but through Jesus. Amen. Amen. And all we have to do is receive Him. Yes. Amen. So if you have it, all you have to do is say, Lord, I receive you. I, yes. I confess to you. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you're on your way. Amen. John 3 says, things just, he got involved. He says, for God so loved the world that yes. he sent Jesus. Yes. Amen. So he's, he's already been there. He's already cleared all this for us. Mm -hmm. For our sins, our sickness, our weaknesses, our pains, whatever. The only thing that is more powerful enough to keep you from receiving those things are your words. Mm. When you say, I choose not to. Mm. There's death and life in the power of the tongue. Yes. There's power in the words. Yes. And you're speaking them. Mm -hmm. So only you can keep yourself. Right. Nobody can stop you. And we're going to get a little deeper into this because you shouldn't let 
anyone or anything hold you back from what God's calling you to do. God says, I called you. And you know when he told his disciples, we're going to the other side yes. of the lake. Uh -huh. We're going to the other side. That's enough for me to know mm -hmm. we're going to make it because he said it. Yeah. His word says it, yeah. that you can do all things. All and you're going to make it. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, guess what? <laughs> as soon as he fell asleep, when Jesus left, he says, I want to leave the Holy Ghost with you. <laughs> Holy Ghost is with you. <laughs> so he's going to show you. He's going to, we got some gifts. Yes. Amen. In us. Amen. But as soon as he fell asleep, the storm rose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On a daily basis, oh, storm rises. Oh, yes. oh, what do you want to do? Wake yeah. Jesus up. <laughs> mm. no. no. That word that you deposit is going to yes. rise up. Amen. And speak to that storm yes. and say, in the, in the name of Jesus, storm Jesus. Yes. be calm. Storms Amen. be gone. Hallelujah. Financial problems be gone. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Sickness be gone in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. But you have to stand up. And yeah. let that word arise. Yeah. Because his word says that you can do all things through him. All things. So, words, positive or negative, mm -hmm. you're thinking, you're, you're talking. Since we started this year, we were talking about changing our words. Concentrate on speaking faithful words. Yeah. What the word of God says, speak it now. And you know, I guarantee you, some of you have been here that have weapons. You just don't go outside and start shooting mm -mm. your weapon anywhere and everywhere or in every direction. You're selective yeah. of what you shoot at. Yeah. And there's rules and regulations to tell you what you can shoot at. That's and there's seasons for you to go hunt whatever you go hunt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not with the Word of God? Mm -hmm. That's Man. more important, you know, because mm -hmm. we're fighting this spiritual battle. Yes. All of us. Mm -hmm. Without him, we lose. That's right. We've been talking about this since the beginning. Mm -hmm. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's right. He's oh, faithful. Lord. He's faithful. Oh, he is. He's faithful. Huh. He's on the job. And he's full-time. Mm -hmm. And we need to also be full-time yes. believers. Amen. Amen. And let him know he's a defeated foe. Yes, he we is. can't let a defeated foe defeat That's us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, you could be a full time Christian, Woo. a born again Christian, and still have a defeated or um, um, a poverty mentality. Oh, boy. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And live a defeated life. Yes. yes. Because you're not willing to stand up. Mm -hmm. And Jesus went to the cross and never backed down. That's right. He sure did. Praise God. Mm -hmm. He whooped the devil. <laughs> At the cross, he told Jesus, he Hallelujah. told his father, he says, forgive him. Mm -hmm. When he could have got even. Mm -hmm. And just wiped everybody out. Yes, he could. Amen. But, he, but he paid he paved the way for us. He yes, says, he I am the way. Yes. He's defeated the enemy. He's defeated defeated sin. He defeated everything. Everything. All we need to do is stay in the word. Yes. Walk the word. Confess the word. Yeah. Amen. And Amen. you got it. You got it. But you got to be full-time. We expect him. We part-time believers no, expect uh, God to be full-time. Mm. When we're only part-time, mm. we need to also be full-time. Amen? I get off your I know you want me to get off No, no, no. <laughs> Negative thoughts paint the wrong picture in your mind. Fear. <laughs> Fear comes in. False evidence appearing real. Mm -hmm. So... They say things that are not real. You know, we got to stop this, church. We magnify the world. We magnify problems mm. and troubles more than we magnify our God. Mm. Why is it we got that reversed? Mm. <laughs> we got to put God first. Mm -hmm. There's nothing bigger than Him. That's right. And we started speaking to your problems <laughs> or your giants or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. How big your God is. Yes. You start confessing how big your God is out of you. Coming out of you, uh, those things are just gonna Hallelujah. get away from you. Mm -hmm. Walk away from you. He says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will Please. flee from you. He don't want to hang out with you no, no more. I told you I asked God to help me with my enemies. <laughs> and I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some of this thing where we're going to is sometimes we gotta let go of mm. friends, yeah. families. Things, oh things that hold you back. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. You know, when you're making progress, those people that are jealous, they'll come around and say, you know, you got to take a break from them. Oh, Lord. <laughs> take a break. And uh, it only going to get you away because you're walking from his protection. Mm -hmm. And then the world is going to take you. The enemy wants to take you. He says his mission is to steal, kill, and destroy. You if you're not being used by God, you're being used by somebody else. Yeah. Whether you know it or not. Yeah. So why not be used by the right one? Amen. Let him use you. That's good. He called you. He put you here. And he wants to guide you and yes, direct you. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Because if all you're doing is just being comfy and in your comfort zone, you still have thoughts. Yeah. You're going to be attacked. Your yes. mind. Yes. Your thought life. Yeah. And if you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, mm -hmm. the world's going to get to you mm -hmm. because they bombard you every day oh, with yeah. negative things. Oh, yes. They bombard you through radio, through TV, yeah. whatever, magazine, papers, whatever. You read it. Social media. People. People. So where are you hanging out? You know? Yes. If you hang around with skunks, it's going to rub up on you. <laughs> Everybody, everybody loves pastor, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right, uh, that's it. That's true. So we got to stop magnifying the problem more than yeah. we magnify God. Oh, praise God. <clears throat> or they tell you things like, you're not qualified. You can't succeed. You cannot do that. Mm -hmm. When the word of God tells you that you can. Yes, yeah, man. Right, man. You says can. faith calls things to be not as though they were. Yes. Jesus says we're going to the other side. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to stop you. I'm going to tell you. There's storms rise up. Uh -huh. You know, when they got to the edge of the Red Sea, and the armies come up behind them, and there's a sea in front of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord, I need to know. <laughs> he parted. He made a way. Mm -hmm. Called things to be not as though they were. Yes, that's right. I mean, they walked through dry land. Yes, they did. It wasn't wet. It was dry enough for them to get across. Amen. Praise, <laughs> Praise God. God. Knowing the word of God, the truth that's going to set you free. To what? To complete, to succeed, to accomplish what he's called you to do. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't good enough. Mm. Because if God put you here, that's good enough. Yeah, man. Don't, that's it. Don't let nobody tell you you're a mistake. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. God didn't make a mistake. That's right. You know, there's a lot of children that never knew their parents. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of orphans out there. But when they get a hold of God, mm -hmm. God's their father. Yes. He's our heavenly father. Yes. And he'll <coughs> promote you. Yes. Promotion yes. comes from him. Yes, it does. Amen. <laughs> and the world don't like that. That's right. Because the world wants to see you down. Yes. The world wants is. to see you defeated. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Nobody. Yeah. Okay? The world mm -hmm. competes. Yes. God completes. Yes, man. Yes. And he uses every oh, one of good. us to that's complete good. one another. Mm. You mean? You walk over to somebody and let them know you're special. God told me to let you know you're special. God told me to tell you he loves you. God told me to tell you that he cares for you. Amen. It may not sound that's right. good to you, mm -hmm. but if you do what he tells you to do, yes, yes. that would have been the end of it for this person because this person had already told God, if I don't hear from you, mm -hmm. I'm going to blow my head off. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to do whatever, but today's my last day if I don't mm -hmm. hear from you. Mm -hmm. And God uses people. This yes, is his body. He's going to use people yes. to say, just tell yeah. the first, well, that's not no big thing, you know, that's not going to put me on the radio, mm -hmm. that's not going to put me on TV, <laughs> just by go telling somebody, oh boy. Right? Mm -hmm. But a soul, he came for souls. Yes, he did. He didn't came for us to build this uh, humongous mega church. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> We're more interested in souls, mm -hmm. reaching the laws, reaching Amen. the world. Amen. There's a dark world out there. Yes. You're his lighthouse. Mm, you bring in that light, a special light. Wherever you go. Yes. He can, I can't go where you go. That's right. So that's your mission field. Reach them because the word Jesus is shining through you. He's coming through you. Amen. That word is coming through you. Amen. Amen. And we're going to accomplish this. Remember, faith says you can. Uh -huh. Fear says. Uh -huh. Lost my spot. Mm. Fear says you cannot. You cannot. 
Mm -hmm. The enemy's going to use people to tell you, yes. you cannot. Mm -hmm. But he also uses people to say, you can. You can. That's right. You can. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm putting more faith in me. I'm putting more, I'm depositing more word in me. Mm -hmm. And when I walk, I'm walking in faith. Yes. Yes. I'm putting some faith to my steps. Yes. And I'm going to get Praise the step for him. Amen. Yes. Same with you. We must change the way we think. We must change the way we talk. We're coming to the end of the year. And we want to finish with a bang. Yes. We want to start off with, with a bang. Uh -huh. We don't want to think about all the things I failed. Mm. You know, <laughs> Jesus, he didn't come for perfect people. Mm -hmm. And God's not waiting to use perfect people. That's right. If that's the case, he never have anybody. That's right. Because no one is perfect. <laughs> If you go back and read about your Bible heroes mm -hmm. in the Bible, none of them was perfect. None of them. They all had no. sin. They all had problems. And come no. short of the glory of God. Yes. But God yes. used them anyway. Yes, he did. You know what he's looking for? He's looking for somebody that's going to say, Lord, I'm like, Yeah, here I am. Send here me. I am. Send me. Mm -hmm. Ask uh, Brother Rusty over there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> he has an awesome testimony. Oh, praise God. Every one of us. Lord. And listen, yes. it's not about how big or how small. Mm -hmm. It's about just being faithful and saying, Lord, whatever you got for me, mm -hmm. I'm here to do it. And I'm here to do my best for you. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Isn't that awesome? Look, yes. I, you want a hero? I, I'll tell you a hero, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. He yes. never backed down. He came from heaven, gave up his royalties. Yes. To come knowing that he was going to be crucified. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, if that was you, would you say, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I know what I say. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. That's where Jose came from. No way, Jose. <laughs> we must change our thinking. Listen to this. Start thinking in line with the Word of God. Yes. Isaiah 55, 11. And I want to read it to you from this translation. In the same way, my words leave my mouth. This is Jesus. This is God's talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, my word leaves my mouth. And they don't come back without results. Yeah. Wow. They don't come back without oh, results. Boy. My words make things happen that I want to happen. That's they good. succeed in doing what I send them to do. Amen. That's the attitude mm. we need. That's the same thing we need. Yeah. So be careful the things you say. Well, I just had to tell them, you know. Mm. Well, think about how many times Jesus was insulted. And if you read your Bible... He never said anything. That's right. They wanted him to say the wrong things. Mm -hmm. But he kept... He kept stopped. Guard. Mm -hmm. He kept guard on his... Thank mm -hmm. you. He kept guard on his word. Mm -hmm. He kept guard on his mouth. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have an awesome little book. Uh, uh, How about the uh, tongue? Um, Is that the one? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> bookstore uh, commercial. <laughs> Thank you. How about the tongue? Oh. Yeah, you can clean yourself. Well, you know, I didn't feel anything. But guess what? It got sown. Mm -hmm. Because words go out. He yes. says right here. He yes. says, my words my leave word. my mouth and they don't come back without results. That's right. Words are carriers. Yes, they are. <laughs> Seeds are carriers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and whatever you sow, whatever you sow, good, I wrote it here, here we go. Mm -hmm. Power in words, positive mm -hmm. or negative. Yeah. You choose your choice. Yeah. Are they going to be good or are they going to be bad? Mm -hmm. You know, best to put a guard on it. Mm -hmm. And Jesus showed us it, the example of just holding myself. Mm -hmm. He could have defended himself, but he chose not to say. That's right. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Isaiah 55, 11, we told you this. Mm -hmm. Highlight it in your Bible. No, Underline no. it. Oh no, my goodness. Do whatever. Put your name to it. Uh -huh. Personalize it. Mm. But we need to get the word in us. We gotta make this deposit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. Praise God. He wants to change us. We must change yes, the does. way we think. Amen. Amen. <laughs> when the devil gets ready to corrupt you, guess what? He's also attacking your mind. Mm -hmm. The battlefield is the mind. Yeah. And we must renew it. Yeah. Otherwise, if we don't renew our mind, we're going to start thinking like the world. Uh -huh. And we're going to get desensitized, mm. and we're going to start doing, we're going right back to what we was doing, okay? So yeah. be careful. Mm. Romans 12 and 2 says, in the New Living Translation, 
don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you yeah. into the new person yeah. by changing the way you think. Yeah. Renew your thinking. Mm -hmm. Then you will learn not, uh, to know God's will for you, yes. which is good and pleasing and perfect. Amen. Okay? So, renew your mind. The battlefield is the mind. He attacks your mind. The enemy cannot make you do anything unless you choose to yeah. give in and just quit and say, okay. But if you get the word in you, uh -huh. feed your spirit the word of God, renew your mind with the word of God, yes. and crucify your flesh. When you do these things, you start walking in faith. Oh my gosh. Amen? You start walking in faith. Proverbs 4.23 says, above all, be careful what you think, because your thoughts control your life. Amen. And the enemy knows this too. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Amen. Make sure you renew your mind. Yes. Colossians 3.2. We're not going through all these, so you, you can just go ahead and write them down. Colossians 3.2 says, set your mind or purpose of thinking on things what? Above and not on things of the Amen. earth. Amen. Not on things of the earth, but on things above. What the Word of God tells us. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 20, uh, 23 and 7, New King James. For as he thinks in his heart, yes. so is he. So is he. Words, thinking is very, very important. Philippians 4 and 8 in the easy to read version says, Brothers and sisters, continue to think about what is good and worthy of praise. Mm -hmm. Think about what is true and honorable and right and pure and beautiful and respected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when Jesus wanted to encourage his followers, he enlarged their vision by saying this, reminding them this, you can't or you cannot put new wine in old wine skins. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, <on> Lord. <laughs> Mr. Reyes just uh, reminded me about how we're going to do the fence. <laughs> he says, you got wood out there, and we're not going to use lumber or wood, new wood, and patch it onto old wood. Mm -hmm. Rusty knows that. Then you, you gotta start up. We're not going to patch up the fence and make, make, have it look all kind of ugly. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, he was saying that you cannot have change with restricted attitudes. Mm. You got to start thinking. Mm -hmm. So stretch your faith and vision by getting rid of all uh, those old negative mindsets mm -hmm. that hold you back. You'd be surprised mm -hmm. how mindsets and traditions mm -hmm. have more power over the word of God and people. Oh boy. I don't want to say the wrong things. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I was brought up a certain good. way. <laughs> and we're not going to change because your kin folks, grandma, grandpa, and your mom and pa was raised this way. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be the same way. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to hell thinking this way. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're not going to change even though the word of God says something different. Mm -hmm. Or so and so said. Mm -hmm. No. Oh boy. We're just going to continue with our mindsets. We're going to continue with our traditions. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of changing to what the Word of God says. Oh boy. So we need to stop that. We can. We can. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot do that. You did. We got to change. We got to be uh, changed and not be restricted by our mindsets yeah. or our traditions. Yeah. You know, it's time to break away. Mm. It's time. You know what? God wants it this way. I don't care. <laughs> how they did it before. That's right. And you know, I got away from, I had to walk away from uh, my family's uh, traditions yeah. of how to obey God or, or their way of religion. Mm -hmm. I had to walk away from it. And at first, they didn't like me for it. Mm -hmm. They fought me. <laughs> and now they come to me when it's time for prayer because they know there's results. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you might have to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I had to live with what they had to say about me, the gossip, the things, the words that hurt. But I knew what the Word of God says, so I stuck with what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. If God is for you, yes. who could be against you? And sometimes, yeah. it's for, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's friends, yeah. people you know. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Stretch your faith, your vision, yeah. and get rid of those old negative mindsets that hold you back. Change your thinking. Don't be bound by the barriers of the past. Mm. 
Mm, come on, it's too quiet now. <laughs> Start making room in your thinking for what God has in store for you. That's right. You gotta go with the new. He says, You're a new creature in Christ. In 2 Corinthians 5 17 he says, You're a new creature in Christ. He says, The old is out, the new is in. Mm. We're about ready to close out this year. Mm -hmm. And you know, I failed in some ways. I never completed some things. But I'm not going to dwell on the past. That's right. I'm going to press on with the new. Amen. 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 I'm going to press on with the new. I'm going to leave it behind. I'm not going to let it hold me back. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are still stuck. Because mm -hmm. somebody said something a oh. year ago, 10 years ago, 20 years, years ago. ago. Wow. And it's still her. Yeah. She just talked to a friend and says, you know, still stuck in the past. Mm -hmm. We can't do that. We got to move on. We got to press on. Yeah. You know what? I think our pastor Roy said it like this. Admit it, quit, and press on. Yeah, amen. Hey, if, well, I'm not being released from this yet, but if you, if he can forgive and forget, mm -hmm. who are we to hold it against? That's right. That's right. And, and listen, if somebody's holding it against you, let them. Yeah. Okay, hey, I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Or if you confess your sin, and if God has forgiven you mm -hmm. and forgotten about it, why are you still holding on yeah. to it? Yeah. You attach your mind. Yes. Because it's going to tell you, you're not forgiven. Mm. Okay? God can't use you anymore. Mm. And people will tell you that. Okay. Religion will tell you that. Mm -hmm. God can't use you anymore because you failed. Mm. That's a lie. It's not scriptural. Amen. <laughs> That's why you need to get that deposit, get yeah. that word in you. Yes. You know what he wants you to do? He wants you to say, Lord, I failed you. I sinned. I'm sorry. And he mm -hmm. says, okay. I forgive and I forget you. Okay. Now, get back in the race. Mm -hmm. Get up. Mm -hmm. Don't stay down. Get up mm -hmm. and continue what I called you to do. Who called you? He, he did. did. So people holding things against you, so what? Mm -hmm. They didn't call you. He did. Mm -hmm. And if he can forgive and forget you, it's time to move on. Yes. Yes. Don't let no one or anything mm -hmm. or so-and-so hold you back yes, from what God has already called you to do. Amen. It's special. You're special to him. See yourself that way. See yourself the way he sees you. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to impress the world. That's right. You know, when you look in the mirror, that's your biggest problem. Mm. You just got to deal with this person. Yes. Lord, help me deal with this person. Mm -hmm. Let me get this person right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Let the seed that God has placed in your life to take root and grow. Expect God's favor to help you. Uh, break out of the rut yeah. and rise yeah. to, new, to new heights, to new levels. Yeah. <laughs> Expect to excel in whatever you do. Mm -hmm. And remember, with God, all things are possible. All things. <laughs> Let's get beyond the barriers of the past and expect God to do great things in your life. Mm -hmm. Change your thinking. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. oh, it goes deeper. We're not going to try to finish this. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you know, everybody know about Saul. <laughs> yeah. Saul, he was supposedly a, a Christian. And he was going around killing Christians and putting mm -hmm. Christians in jail. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when on his way to Damascus, mm -hmm. God knocked him off his horse. Mm -hmm. Immediately he knew, Lord, is this you? <laughs> mm -hmm. He's walking around his knees and mm -hmm. you know crawling around yeah, the ground. Because he couldn't see. He couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't see. And then he goes. And then he tells the prophet, he says, you know. All of a sudden, Saul is seeking God. Mm -hmm. And God says, since the prophet goes in, the prophet says, are you sure? We're talking about the same guy. You know what this guy is doing? We're telling God. He's telling God what this guy is doing. He already yeah. knows. Yes. God didn't throw him aside. That's God didn't throw him away and says, I can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. He says, go, pray for him. Yeah. Scales come off. Mm -hmm. You're a new creature in Christ now. No matter what the world says. You know when people come and tell me, we know you. You ain't no pastor. You ain't no child of God. And we know you. We know your past. And I tell them, I says, I, I said, I'm a new person. I don't know that person. I, I don't live there no more. But they try to put these things back on you. And it's going to hurt me. And it's, I'm just going to go back and crawl in a hole and just don't do anything anymore. Well, the enemy succeeded. 
You know, somebody come tell you that. Right. Remind you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Says, wait a minute. I'm a, I'm a new person. Yes. If God can forgive and forget mm -hmm. you, don't let the enemy use right. somebody to become distracted. That's right. We gotta yeah. get rid of all these distractions yeah. to try to pull us back. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Isaiah 43 and 18 says, Lord says, forget what happened before and do not think about the past. Look at the new things. I'm going to do. God is more interested in your future than he is your past. God says, look at the new things I'm about to do in your life. Amen. Forget the past. Yes. And you know, for some of us, <clears throat> the past could include troubles, problems, failures, setbacks, sin, whatever. Mm -hmm. I got to know this. I'll show it to you next time. <laughs> he says, put it aside. Let it go. Okay? It's gone. The enemy is going to use mm -hmm. somebody to try to bring it out up to you. Oh, say, yeah. Remind you. Remind say, you. Mm -hmm. That's not me anymore. That's right. Remember this and pass it along to the ones you love, <coughs> your loved ones, your friends, regardless of how bad things have gone. Change is coming. Yes. And there's hope for them. For yes. God so loved the world. the world. He died for every one of us. Yes. You know, religion can get you so confused mm -hmm. that you can never live up yeah. to being saved and going to, going to heaven. Mm -hmm. Because you never completed the 20 steps that you got to do <laughs> to be saved. <laughs> I think about, very simple, I think about the two robbers. The there were yeah. thieves, yeah. robbers, mm -hmm. crooks, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. They were crucified with Jesus. Jesus. One of them is still mocking him, that's the world. Mm -hmm. But the other one says, I recognize who you mm -hmm. are. You're Jesus, the Son of God. Forgive me. That's not what he said, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. But he says, I recognize you. Mm -hmm. He says, today, You'll be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. You're saved today. You receive your salvation right then. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to go through 20 steps of getting saved. <laughs> he didn't have to go get baptized. That's right. He didn't have to go do all these other things. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, confess your sins, mm -hmm. receive me as your Lord and Savior, and you're saved. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, the world wants to make it complicated and say, well, yeah. if you buy my book, oh boy, <laughs> if you buy my video, if you do it this way, you know, you can make Jesus. No, uh -huh. Don't go there. That's right. Let's not go there because that's not the way it says. Just go by what the Word of God says. Yes. Amen. Lord. Just go by what the Word of God yes. says. We've got to stop all distractions. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> and it affects its difference. So, bad thinking, Bad mindsets, corruptions, bad companies, mm -hmm. bad companies, oh. or whatever. Oh my goodness. Just mm. admit it. Mm. Quit it. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to stop right there. Is that what I said? Amen. 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 Praise God. Oh. I just knew he was going to say that. <laughs> Praise so God. So let's pray. Father, we just thank, thank you. All you those Lord. of you that are watching or yes. listening, if you thank never you received Lord. Jesus or if you failed, you, and somebody told you there's no hope for you anymore. Mm. It's a lie. That's it's not scriptural. Right. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And the Bible says you shall be saved. Shall be so saved. get plugged in to some Bible church Amen. close to you. Amen. Amen. But you got to make a change. And you got to change the way you think. Yes. And Thank start you, serving Lord. him because he's Amen. called you and you're special to him. Yes. So don't let the world, don't let anyone or anything hold you back from what yeah. God has called you to be. Yes. And he's called you to do great things. Yes, he has. So praise yes. God. Yes. Let us pray. Yes. Father, we just thank you, thank you Lord. for the opportunity yes. of serving you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Jesus. And thank yes. you, Father, for salvation. Yes. Thank you, Father. We renew our minds to the things of God right now, Father God. And we receive you as our Lord and Savior, Father. And we thank you, Father. Yes. Help this word come into us, Father God, and help us to walk yes. in you, Father, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah.